So let's get one thing straight. Size really does matter. Well, technically weight, but you do need a particular weight of fish in order to perfect tame the shadow mane. You're right kids, it's Ras Clark and here is a shadow mane taming guide. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share around and let's get into it. So to kick things off, you're going to find the shadow mane all over the south section of Rockwell's garden. And of course, you want to ensure it's asleep. I did do a brief taming guide on this. Go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. But this video is to understand what weight of fish you're going to need. Now to go through this, I went through a variety of weights of fish. And by the way, this is on one times taming rates. So testing a 1.3 times fish gives us a 3.1% taming affinity. Testing a 1.4 weight, which I was told was the minimum fish you needed, gives us a 3.8% taming affinity, which still doesn't seem quite right. But using a 2.2 weight gave us 6%, and using a 2.3 weight gave us the same percent, which begged the question, what is the minimum fish weight you need to get that 6%? So I spent hours catching every weight of fish between 1.4% and 2.2%. To finally understand, to get the 6% timing affinity, you need a minimum of a 2.0 weight fish. And if a 2.0 or above weight fish gives it 6%, that means you're going to need a minimum of 17 fish over that weight. So catching those Moby Dicks, what are you going to do? There's a variety of ways to catch fish. Of course, using fish baskets, which are relatively cheap to make but you're going to need a large area to catch those fish. My personal recommendation is the lake on the north section of the Eden Zone. And to catch the fish, I built a raft with two foundations and four sets of stairs sloping off it, with a little box to store my fish baskets in. And all we're going to do now is line up fish baskets along the bottom of the stairs. Now this is a laborious process, especially to find fish over 2.0. But there are two things that will certainly help you. One is of course HLNA, by pressing H on the keyboard or the touchpad on your controller to identify and find the fish of the weight that you need. The second thing is honey. Like most creatures in Ark, fish are attracted to honey, allowing you to coax them towards the traps and easily nab them. And of course, keep an eye on any other creatures that might come nearby and simply kill those before they steal your nice tasty honey. The next thing I can hear you say is, well, hang on a minute, fish baskets spawn within 40 minutes and I need 17 of them above 2.0. But there's a way around that and credit to Captain Fat Dog who mentioned this to me last night. With any trapped fish basket, you can simply place it in the water and then cryo that fish and then uncryo them when you're ready to start the taming process. But rest assured, this is going to take you a long time to get a 150 max shadow main on a fish or perhaps helped a little by the in-game world events you get from doing missions, which may reduce the amount of fish you'll need, but I would definitely go and get that 17 amount just in case. So I'll see you in two weeks. As for the taming process, there are many different ways to tackle a shadow mane, but my personal suggestion is to ensure you're wearing ghillie and you've got a bug repellent and you've got at least eight stone pillars. Upon finding your shadow mane, place the first pillar near its bum, roughly where the fin is. From that first pillar, then snap one to the left, to the right and to the rear, picking up the original one that you placed. You're then gonna go out two more on either side of the shadow mane, ensuring not to go too far in front of its face or it will wake up. Slap one pillar on its head and one in front of it, and make sure to pick up the pillar that's on its head once you're done. And there you go, the trap is ready using only eight pillars. You can certainly double these up if you want for that extra security, but this is essentially what worked for me. Now feeding it the fish baskets you'll need it in the last slot of your hot bar and very carefully approach it from the rear. If you go too close to its head, it will wake up and then simply interact with the shadow mane and back off. Tracking it if you want to, of course, to make sure it's still in the trap. And that's essentially it. Wait for it to lie back down before feeding it any more fish. And each one will give it that 6%. Sometimes the taming progress will go up by 0.1. It seems to be a bit buggy, but it will give you that 6% each time as long as the fish are over 2.0. And the taming effectiveness is a little bit buggy. It shouldn't and won't drop below 99%. However, I've noticed sometimes some fish don't change its taming effectiveness and some do by 0.1%. 
so perhaps the effectiveness drops by a fraction of 0.1%. And upon feeding it 17 fish of weight 2.0 or over, you will finally bag you a max 150 shadow main tame at almost perfect levels. Perfect enough for me to call this video a perfect tame. One or two caveats, if it does wake up and is alerted by you, which sometimes it happens, it won't be aggroed on you. So back off with the ghillie and get out of render and then come back and repeat the process. As long as you're wearing ghillie and you've got bug repellent, you shouldn't have a problem. The other caveat and a big bug and as to why this was taking me so long to get done. On single player, there's currently a bug whereby if the shadow main is meshed into anything, if any structure or terrain is clipping within the shadow main, it will register your fish basket as below 0.5, despite your fish being above 2.0. But it's without question a bug as I've heard so many people aren't having issues with traps on servers so it appears to be a PC Steam single player issue which I'm sure Wildcard will fix soon. But there you go, you've got your shadow main. I hope this has helped. I really spent a lot of time understanding how to get the best timing efficiency you can on the shadow main to make sure you get the perfect 150 tame. Thanks all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Comment below if you did. My name is Ross Clark. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And as always, peace out.